If you've ever played SnowRunner on hard mode, chances are you started your game like this. You discover the Fleet Star, get that all-wheel drive upgrade, and then tow it around to the service trailer to repair it. It takes 530 repair points and 6 tires to get the Fleet Star back up and running. Now we have 970 points and 2 tires remaining in the trailer. Steal a little bit of fuel out of the Chevy and then run it into the garage to get that all-wheel drive upgrade installed. All is good! Next you fuel up the Chevy and then race to the GMC so that we can get the sideboard off of it that comes on it for free. Then we get the raised suspension for the Fleet Star and run back to the garage with the GMC, braving mud and ruts all along the way. First we'll take off the sideboard bed and put it on the Fleet Star. Now that we have the raised suspension, we can get new tires and sell off all the old parts. Almost there. Let's get that engine upgrade real quick. Alright, now we're good. Wow. Starting to look like something that we can use. Run down and get fueled up. And then grab that service trailer and let's go get the Kodiak. The Kodiak requires 550 repair points and 4 tires. Now we have 420 points remaining in our trailer. We only had 2 tires, so we'll pull it back with 2 flat tires. We still need two tires. Where do we get them? We have one option. We can buy a roof rack for the Scout 800 and use two of them. But is there a better way? I'm Zorshix and I have played SnowRunner a lot, both normal and hard mode. With all the hours I have in this game, I've learned many things that I want to share with other people. For the past two years, I have live streamed SnowRunner on Twitch, hoping to have opportunities to share the love and help people understand that this game was designed to encourage us to think outside the box. Yes, there's a way that seems right, but it usually leads to many hours of struggling to accomplish anything, especially in the beginning. My goal is to help others understand that the game developers have made ways for us to bypass most of these struggles, leading to a sense of entertainment and personal accomplishment, which keeps the game interesting and fun, instead of frustrating and never played. When it comes to hard mode, these frustrations can compound and lead us to giving up before we even get a good start in the game. In hard mode, cash is king, especially in the beginning. Most of us know the traditional start of just fixing the fleet star and using the GMC sideboard to get going right away with jobs so we can have that cash buffer to feel secure. By now you probably realized that I started this game a little different than the last time. Instead of fixing the fleet star, I pulled it into the garage and put some fuel into it from the Chevy. The fuel won't leak out when it's sitting in the garage so we should be fine. First I'm going to run up the west side of the map and discover all the upgrades for the Chevy and the International Scout 800. Then we'll move to the Smithville garage and install the race suspension and some all-terrain tires, a snorkel, and an autonomous winch. Next stop is Island Lake to get the race suspension for the Kodiak. After that we move to Drummond Island to get the off-road gearbox upgrade and yes. discover the P16 and complete the wooden bridges and 10 hut task. Bring some cash in. Now that those jobs are complete we can head back to Smithville Dam and back to the garage. We'll install the engine upgrade in the P16 and a high saddle and head back into Black River. Once we're in Black River, we'll make our way to the logging station where we can discover the Kodiak and we'll pull it back to the Black River garage. On the way back to the garage, we can stop and get the engine upgrade for the Fleet Star with the P16. We'll use the Scout 800 to discover the GMC and the GMC to get the raised suspension for the Fleet Star and to rebuild the wooden bridge in the middle of the map. Then we'll take the GMC to the garage in Smithville, where we can remove the sideboard bed. Next we'll move to the garage in Black River, where we can start installing all the upgrades that we found. Let's go repair these trucks. Last time we had 420 repair points and no tires left. Now I want you to pay close attention to how many repair points it requires to fix these two trucks.
let's run over here and put some fuel in these. And now we have a decent fleet to get started on the game with a good fuel truck, fully loaded, fully repaired at a fraction of the repair point cost. If you'd like to see more content like this, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.